the beauty has made her move. And who is the beauty? Apparently, it's like Rimuru thinks that Hinata is a beauty. That's why the episode was called beauty. The beauty makes her move. Man, Hinata versus Rimuru round one. Watching for the second time has been an absolute delight. Seven colors of the rainbow. Seven hits. And if she gets seven hits, then it does like damage to the soul. Meaning like, you're just dead. You're fucking done. Seven shot, instant kill. Now, seven hits is... It's, it, it sounds broken, but like... Seven, it, 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 to get seven hits, I feel like it's kind of hard, right? But right now, because we're so nerfed, because we have like the anti-magic barrier, Hinata's sword is fucking broken. She had a lot of prep time. Rimuru's gonna lose this one. I think, well, I think he gets away somehow. I think we did like awaken gluttony at the end, right? Let's see the outcome of this fight. <laughs> What is awakened gluttony mean? That's a seven shot. You clip fingered me again. Awakened gluttony. She just like leaves her sword there. What the fuck is this? Various objects and monsters. So like all the monsters that Rimuru has basically abs absorbed. We're kind of letting that all out in a very monstrous form suited for combat. Even Veldora? E even Veldora? Even Veldora! Yeah, the, the snake thing, Ranga, is Vel not Veldora? Because Veldora is still sealed, right? It doesn't really, we didn't really consume. The bat, it's basically the cave monsters, huh? The cave monsters? Okay. Even the, the scorpion, the centipede thing in the tail. That means you don't have a soul. Wait! That's bullshit! Because it does damage to the soul. But if we do this, suddenly we remove the soul? <laughs> okay. Well, no, 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 no. She's assuming that you don't have a soul. Oh. She got like shrine priest stuff, yeah. All our combat powers is pretty much increased, right? Physical brute force. Five spirits at once. Oh, 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 oh. just eat them? She can just like ask God for the power of the spirits? Yo, that's a lot of magic circles! That's a lot of magic circles! Anytime there's like magic involved in like these animes, you see like multiple magic circles. Boom, 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 boom! Oh, oh my, oh my! Disintegration! Nah, he's good, he's good! He's good, right? Are we gonna get reincarnated again? Are we dead? Rimuru's dead? GG guys. Hinata just disintegrated Rimuru. The, the, the anime is over. Roll credits. Thanks for watching guys. But no! Now what? He must have had some kind of insurance plan, right? What the fu- She wears a monocle? That's the funniest shit so far. I, she, she has a monocle. <laughs> okay. I never expected her to wear one. Ah, there you are. Little tiny slime piece escaped. What the fuck did she disintegrate? <gasps> Damn, dude. <laughs> Ranga has the zoomies! <laughs> Supreme voice acting. Ooh, the respects. We'll see in season three! We'll see! I would argue slimes are soft, but I understand. Degenerate to make you feel to- Yeah, 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 this is the Pokemon moment. 
And then she used like usurp, right? A little bit of recap fight, I don't mind. Oh, at that point, we escape. Gotcha. So at this point, he's already escaped. Then he used Awakened Gluttony. Okay. Surprised that Hinata couldn't detect that a piece of Rimuru had disappeared. Even without the barrier, I could have lost. So I see a lot of people arguing that like Hinata, like some people are like huge Hinata fans and they're like, nah, bro, you don't even know. Like the barrier, it doesn't even matter. I feel like the barrier fucking nerfed us a lot. But even without it, Rimuru himself is admitting that it could have been pretty hard. <laughs> Could don't spoil me. Could Milim do it though? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. <sighs> and you're right. The lack of the soul is because the his real part just escaped, right? And therefore, the awakened gluttony. It was just basically a husk. I don't know how it was operating by itself through the help of the great sages. I don't know. But basically, the soul part of the true part of Rimuru has left at that point. So it does make sense. <laughs> Uh, it's a tie, I think. <laughs> Ranga is glazing Rimuru up so much. It's fair to say you won an overwhelmingly ditch. Did we watch the same episode, Ranga? I appreciate it, but goddamn. <laughs> it's a tie, it's a tie. I would consider it not a clean 50 50. I'll split it like a um, fucking. Uh, because she has so much prep time, because we were caught off guard, because of that barrier, I'm willing to give it 60-40. Right? It's 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 not it's not it's not like a draw, but like wait, what am I trying to say? Right? 60-40 in favor of Hinata? That means that she still won by that much. I should be trying to say like that ratio makes no sense. I'm trying to say that despite being at such a disadvantage, we still tied, right? So I'm gonna say 60-40 for Rimuru. 60 for Rimuru, 40 for Hinata. Even though Hinata basically, quote unquote, won this, I'm gonna take it a 50 50 draw, then give Rimuru 10 more points because of all the disadvantages. That was unfair. Oh. We can't teleport because the barrier's up there. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Nearby? This, this is gonna be sad, man. So way and Gabi. Yes. It's unfair. Oh, Vesta. Potions. Yeah, heal that cloth. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking laundry. Laundry potion. No, Gabiru fan club! Okay. So is so cool. Nah, I'm not the problem. I'm not the focus right now. Found youth! Baldies! That shitty nation. Man. This is gonna be sad. <laughs> One more time. This is the there's two barriers here, right? Magical reduction is basically what Hinata cast it on us. Is that the purified? Yeah. Is it the same? Sim no. Purification ability is weaker. It's purification. Whose purification was weaker? They said purification is weaker, so I'm gonna assume Hinata's was weaker, right? Or Hinata's was stronger, and they're both purifying, but this one right now, this purification is weaker. That's the understanding. So Hinata's barrier was actually stronger. Huh, Hinata by herself was better? Hinata's single barrier was better than a, like 30 fucking baldies, you know, fucking <laughs> to the barrier up? Okay, okay. Wait, and then the, the other barrier from Mulan, right? The, cause like the, the purification, was that Mulan's or was it the family of people? I forget, there was like two barriers on. 
So, Dai Maho, O my Tatua, Konoke, you had the Mono Sagasta. Mulan anti magic, gotcha. Tadashi, said, No, I want to go to slaughter them all. Oh, it's Taiba, Kikai got the machine and then. So it's a string. So basically, paper cup. Your like phone, 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 paper cup. You, 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 it's a string attached to it, and we got a paper cup, and we can listen. Long ass fucking string, man. <laughs> Long ass fucking string, man. <laughs> and we're in. Ooh, ooh. Only Rimuru could break into that, right? No one else could break in, right? Rimuru did something there to bypass the barrier. Here we go. Dude, our fucking village that we built up for an entire fucking season! Gabiru fan club? Gabiru fan club saved them all? Kakoi Gabiru sama! Rimuru-sama! I'm so glad you're alive! Oh my lord, are you okay? They're hiding something. They're hiding something. This has to do with Shion, right? That's what they're hiding from Rimuru right now, right? I didn't cry during my first watch of this. I'm not gonna cry again. We know that she was gonna be fine. It's just that experiencing this again in this order, it just fucking sucks. Oh, guild? Oh, we're protecting, uh, he's protecting, uh, Mulan. This just sucks, man. This just fucking sucks. Honestly, if I was Benny, I'd want to kill her too. I can't let you have her now. Because goddamn, we know that you're not going to have her either. She fucking has a yom on her lap and you, you got cucked like a couple episodes ago. You got literal friends out and you're still like protecting them. Yeah, I think you lost your cool, Benny. Oh, you can transform. I think we went easy on him there. He couldn't fucking use Hell Flame, dude, if he were serious. No, I think it's totally justified. <laughs> Stop it, Benny Mother! Stop hurting him! Just throws him to the fucking side. You would think like Shuna would be good here at like, you know, dispelling the barrier, huh? I forget exactly what Shuna specializes in. But like her magic is like different, right? I thought it's more suited for situations like this of like, I don't know, dispelling bears and debuffs and stuff like that. Yeah, no, that later. Oh, they're still hiding it from Rimuru. Oh no. Mulan, how could you do this? Brother, we gave you a fucking waifu. We made you a king. King of foul mute that not yet champion, but god damn no, it's not his fault. He tried to stop Mulan. He actually did try to stop Mulan. It's not Yom's fault. He's just just being a gentleman, I guess, kind of. Like, like, I understand him. This is L Clay man. Cause like, what would have Mulan done? If Mulan So like if Mulan didn't cast a barrier, Clayman would have just killed her, right? And then that's it. Everyone else would have been saved. Not that I think about it. Mulan just let a shitload of people in this village die. When she could have just taken it out herself. Right? Doesn't, doesn't that make sense? Like, like what, what was the specific reason why Mulan didn't do it? It's just herself, right? It's, it's just her heart that's kept hostage. But like, was anyone else affected? Yes, Mulan will die, but I'd rather Mulan die herself. Like, like in this story right now, right now, in this story, in episode, like, whatever we're on right now, 7, we barely noticed, bitch. She showed up out of fucking nowhere. Fucking these coomers, y Yom and Yom 2 just gotta just, like, f just simps over her. What the sh- 
I'd rather her die than our fucking goblins and other people die, man. Straight up. She should, yeah, she should have been the fucking hero and fucking died herself and saved the fucking village. And I don't know, man. I don't fucking know. You kill, is she claim man black mirror to kill you? Fuck yo, man, Clay. Fuck yo, man, Mulan, man. Mulan thought that if she didn't do it, then Clayman would attack. Mulan had no idea about families attacking. Oh. The families attacking was kind of a double downing, huh? Hmm. Okay. <laughs> there is no reason for you to get involved. Okay, Yom has all the reason to get involved with Mulan, but Yom too here, dead has, dead has, has like no fucking reason. Like, no one is asking for you. You're self inserting yourself over and over again. <laughs> Grucius, and like maybe I should respect Grucius because even when Mulan and Yom will get married and eventually become like the queen and queen of Falmouth, I bet Grucius will still be there, is waiting for the day, is waiting for the day when Yom dies so that he can get in there. He's straight up waiting for his turn. <laughs> Grucius might be one of the most fascinating characters, dude. Grucius, straight up. <laughs> That's what I'm saying! <laughs> you did this, Mulan! If Rimuru knew what she meant right now, would he be as benevolent? Come with me? Oh shit, she does bring him there! Hey, at least she has the honor to, you know, bring Rimuru herself. That's a lot of fucking blood, man. <laughs> I mean, this episode is called Despair, right? Look at this. Look at this. They're all just dead. It's just all goblins too, dude. War. And these are just the NPC goblins to wait till he sees, you know. Yo, this soundtrack is actually so emotional. This is actually getting pretty emotional, man. <laughs> Be nice to humans, right? One of them was be nice to fucking humans. No! Oh my god, I fucking forgot about that! He did say that! No fighting Fuck them humans now, dude. Let's get rid of rule one. Some humans are good. It's just foul mute and the church that fucking sucks. Damn, he's actually realizing. <laughs> Face. Never have you ever seen Rimuru be this emotionally effective, right? I don't think there's ever been a moment, all of season one, that we ever saw Rimuru. Like, so far, this anime has been pretty chill. Every time something bad happens, we manage to overcome it pretty happily. But, like, this is like the first time where shit actually hits the fan, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Great Sage is like, chill, chill! Mulan alone did not do that! It, no, 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 Mulan's barrier actually wasn't that significant! Falmuth! Falmuth! Save Mulan! <laughs> That's what the Great Sage is saying right now, right? <laughs> and like, now that I think about it, the whole, the, when we were shitting on Mulan before, like, yes, if the story actually states that her anti-magic barrier actually did not have much effect, right? Then, it's, is it really her fault? Yes! But instead of it being 100% her fault, it's like 20% like her fault and 80% you know, the church's fault, right? Or the Falmuth. Yeah. Dude, he was about to kill Mulan, man. Mulan wanted that kind of punishment. Is this Mulan woman trying to anger me so I'll kill her and no one else? And hey, what did I just... One of you guys said, whenever you were giving me justifications on how, like, um... Like, why did Mulan not fucking sacrifice herself? I think someone said that, oh, because if she died, then Clayman has a reason to basically invade. But right now, she's basically offering her life, so that outcome would have fucking happened anyways? She's not gonna die, but, you know. <laughs> yes, 
and, and instead of Yom and Yom getting fucking killed, and instead of Yom getting killed, he's gonna now ascend from champion of Falmuth to king of Falmuth. How the fuck does Yom at this scenario manage to get promoted again? Isn't that crazy? He just keeps fucking winning. <laughs> Yom actually might be the luckiest person in this world, yeah. Mjolnir, okay? But we still haven't gotten to see, you know, the secret of... Who the fuck is this dog? I haven't seen this dog recently. Who's, is, is this Mjolnir's dog? Episode 2, we skipped episode 2. We skipped episode 2, 3, and 4. We, we didn't skip it, we basically just speed ran it. Kobe, so it's part of the merchant. Okay, okay, his name is Kobe. It's the merchant's dog. Okay. Can Kobe talk? Kobe can talk, right? It's not just a pet dog, right? What, what's some cool things about Kobe? Like, what does he offer Mjolnir? You can talk. Cobalt merchant. Dog is a Giga Chad. Tempest dog? He spoke with Albus. Really? Kobe is not the merchant's dog. He's completely separate merchant. Okay, he's not a pet. He's not a pet. He's his own independent person. Got it. Respect Kobe. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. No one asked you to come over and you just showed up and it's like this nation is the, the danger to the humans for Jesus Christ and God we must take them out and now we're fucking leaving. I never understood this part. They could have truly wiped them out, right? Family, like he's saying that he needs to talk to the church to see what can happen. Why did families back out here? Because... With this nation being this weak in the nerve, they could have straight up just wiped them out, right? Could it, could, what, what is, what is the logic in the light novel of Falmuth like backing out? They need Tempest goods? His force was not big enough? They're arrogant? I could understand the arrogant part, but it's like, if I was in the Falmuth Knights, I feel, I feel like this is just easy picking, that you could just finish. They only had 100 soldiers when Tempest got together. Oh. Right, because the reinform reinforcement is 20k coming. This is the initial like battalion going in. Gotcha, gotcha. One week. You should have fucking finished your food, dude. One week? You fucked up. You fucked up. You know what the most fucked up thing is? I don't even remember this night guy. Straight up. I don't even remember how he dies. That's how insignificant he is. I vaguely remember how the different matchups, right? I vaguely remember like Shogo versus Guild. You know, the fucking I guy versus Hakuro. Who the fuck did, like, who the fuck did this guy fight? I don't even remember. さい初から西方政教会とファルムス王国はグルだな。<笑> Pretty much, it's just because there's some games. So like the fact that Tempest is monopolizing all of these different trade routes, Falmut is getting, you know, kind of anxious. And then the church is basically using, oh, we hate monsters as an excuse to fucking invade, right? Oh, comeback music? Comeback music? Let's go, Mjolnir! I don't know how to feel about Mjolnir because he's like, he, he looks like a sleazy merchant who probably just follows the money and he realizes how much potential there is in Jura Tempest. That's why he's helping out so much. But is he, is he an actually a good guy? I don't know. But like based off of his just looks, he kind of looks sleazy. But at the same time, as long as it's in his best interest, he's going to be loyal to us. But as soon as something else happens, would he, you know, sell out to the highest bidder? Probably. I mean, that's just the nature of merchantry, right? 
どういう経緯で俺たちにちょっかいを出すことになったのかミュラいいのよ何も隠すことはない Okay, gonna hear about Clayman now maybe? 私はミュラ Clayman <笑>魔王 Clayman <笑> You're next Okay, you're forgiven. <laughs> oh, Clayman's castle again. <laughs> fucking Castlevania castle every time. <laughs> Bro has sipping the same fucking wine glass every time. We see him, it's usually nighttime, thunder strikes down, and he's in his chair just going like. <laughs> Bro never drinks it. He just. He just <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, bro? Oh, a little sip, little sip, tiny sip. Smile. Ooh, devious ending. And that's the episode. And honestly, the real despair hasn't happened yet, right? Because next episode is when we really realize, like, what the fuck happens to Shion and everything. And damn. Rewatch, like, no one's gonna really die, right? Everyone basically gets saved. There's gonna be a happy ending, but like, to live through it all, to, to experience it all again, this was fucking sad, man. This shit was so fucking sad. I guess all we gotta do is just, you know, one week, right? They're gonna come back in one week and we're supposed to get ready. And this time, we'll have prep time. This time, they're not gonna get a jump on us. I figured exactly, because like, they're gonna definitely use their anti-magic and, you know, that all the mana purification bullshit again. But surely this time we have like a different way to kind of counter that, right? So it's gonna be very interesting to see what'll happen in the next couple episodes. And yes, Clayman, he is next. Well, I say next, as in he's gonna be handled up the, you know, part two of season two, but motherfucker, we're coming for your ass. But hey, if you're still here, if you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video, check out the other playlist for more content, and I'll tell next time, take care.